solid swings. Yeah. And now clean, boom. And press. Yeah. Gregory from Neighbor Stock here. We're all about kettlebells. So if you are into kettlebells, then like the video and consider subscribing. Zuzka Light was requested in the YouTube comment section. If you know anyone, celebrity, coach, trainer that I should react to, then let me know in the comments. So Zuzka starts off with the figure eight squats or the pass through or whatever they might call it now the reason why i don't like this exercise is it may put your lower back in a troublesome position however the way she does it she has a great kinesthetic sense she goes down deep into a squat she hinges she makes sure that the lower back is safe so therefore i like it but i don't see the value in this pass through exercise to a certain degree what i would rather do is just body weight squats solid swings yeah awesome and now clean boom yeah so it's funny i just replied to a comment that was asking this question this right here is a so-called scaption press what we normally do is this press where we bring the kettlebell straight up we go for maximum efficiency because we're looking for the shortest distance between two points and that is a straight line so when you are doing this type of press as far as i can recall it this is a scaption press where you go with the groove or with the movement of the scapula and then you come up and then you fully bring the kettlebell overhead both are fine you're doing with this type of press as far as i can recall it is you work more muscles and you trade efficiency so if we would take it on a very high level maybe i would say she could work on her timing a bit more because she hinges even though the arm is not connected to the body we call this the abc technique the arm body connection so as soon as the arm connects with your body this is where you engage in the hinge she goes a little bit early so if you have heavier weights this means that you maybe will feel a little bit more in your lower back because you're not using or you're not connecting your arms to your body and therefore not transferring the power from your hips to your arms but this is just complaining on a high level other than that solid so in this exercise she goes back into the figure eight squat and then she pulls the leg up which i don't know why she does that um yeah you can do it but you know me and you know i got it from dan john my mentor which i'm so grateful for that uh, i've learned so much from dan john is just because you can doesn't mean you should you know what's up so i don't know why she does it i mean standing on one leg oh i get it i get it to a certain degree standing on one leg and then while the kettlebell is pulling you down means you have to work on your balance even more now i would rather put balance and mobility into a separate session maybe as a warm-up and then make sure once you start working with weights that you always have a stable base so here she goes with the russian twist now the russian twist is I would say some kind of a poisonous exercise, as my brother Luca will put it, because it puts your body and your spine into a position that it doesn't really wants to be in. However, if your body needs to be in that position, for example, in an MMA fight or jiu-jitsu or whatever, maybe this exercise can be beneficial to a certain level because it can give you some abdominal armor. The reason why she probably incorporates it is for your abdominals and so many people want abdominal work even though the exercise that she did before the clean and press and the swings is enough abdominal work in my opinion so boom the workout is complete you know what i think it's powerful now first of all it's only 10 minutes long she says it's a beginner's workout well with the swing and the clean and press which can be very tricky maneuvers and tricky exercises maybe not the best thing for beginners but this selection swing clean and press is powerful and i like her technique i want to give credit to zuska like not only for the technique that you put on display but also for the grind that you put on youtube and she's a very attractive and beautiful woman and she's lean muscular a lot of people will put her their eyeballs on zuska because she's a genetic outlier and she has the whole package and i'm always happy when people not only have the package 
but they also have the skill. Now, of course, we can talk about the figure eight and the Russian twist and the knee tucks. Yes, probably not necessary, but with the swing and the clean and press, she has a solid technique and this deserves respect. 90 Days of Kettlebells is an online workout course for beginners who want to train at home, lose weight and achieve lasting results without wasting time and money with crash diets and unused gym memberships. The program works as follows. You will do three kettlebell workouts per week that gradually increase in difficulty. You'll also build three powerful eating habits that have proven successful in our coaching. As the name implies, the program lasts 90 days and you will have lifelong access after purchase. We also include live accountability sessions where you will publicly state your goals. Psychology shows us that if we make our goals public, our adherence to the process and the program increases dramatically. If you have been struggling to put together an elaborate kettlebell workout system while trying to lose weight, then 90 days of kettlebells is for you. The price of 90 days of kettlebells is 59 US dollars per month for three months, and you can save 20% with a one-time payment of 147 US dollars. We'll open registration only to a small number of new clients. Join the waiting list now to get access 24 hours before the general public. Link is in the description.